me Ashley and today I'm doing a video that I've been seeing all over social media all over YouTube and I'm really excited to finally put my own video out there and it is when youtubers go to the best and worst rated businesses like of all <laughs> um, in their video so whether it's a restaurant a nail salon a hair salon wax lash home improvement I don't know they just <laughs> go there they record what they see commentary and just like you know give you a final review if that rating was accurate or not so for those of you who don't know i am actually in school to be a licensed nail technician don't go off my nails right now y'all because i recently took my nails off i'm doing my hair this weekend so i need to have short nails so i can grip grip these little hairs this little baby fro listen i can't have long extensions <laughs> so um I'm actually going to this nail salon to get a basic pedicure um, because I do plan on doing my hair and then doing my own nails once I finish that process. But back to what I was saying, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm in school to be a licensed nail technician. I just took my final exam last Saturday, which I did really well on. So now it's time for me to take my state board. Um, a lot of studying is going on, getting, you know, caught up on things I forgot uh it's like really it's, it's go time y'all so um I thought this would be a good video to do because I've been looking at a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of people are honestly just commenting on I don't want to say the um, style of the nail text but more so like the skies or like the skill level of the nail tech so what I mean for that is a lot of people are commenting on, oh, I wanted coffin and she gave me square. Oh, this finger is a little crooked, yada, yada, yada. They're not talking about the dirty implements that the salon uh, workers are using or the, you know, unsanitary basins that they're putting their feet in and you know the contamination that's going on and stuff like that which I hope I don't see too much of but I thought it would be really cool for me to do this video not only as just a regular customer who needs a pedicure really bad but also as a nail tech student and a future licensed nail tech mission so I thought this would be really cool um the nail salon that I found is actually a little weird because on one outlet on google they have a four star rating and then on yelp they have a 1.5 or a 2 rating so definitely a big difference um just because those numbers they carry a lot of weight <laughs> you know um whereas i see a lot of salons where if they have like a five on one they have a five on the other um so i'm gonna go through some of the reviews and tell you guys what i've been seeing um so yeah so let's just go into that so on google some of the reviews that i'm seeing are people say they make your nails very bulky always have attitudes continue rushing never take their time um someone else said they are nasty they use the same clippers on everyone and they don't clean it until the end of the night the pedicure station smells funny and my nail on my hand and my foot caught fungus from there i wouldn't recommend anyone going there the only thing they do good is waxing your eyelashes the young twins know how to do their job but unfortunately the lady who manages them only cares about money and she tries to tell you what to do i will never go back um another person said nails fell off by the end of the night they were uneven and paint job was terrible i don't mean to laugh but it was just like the end of the night jeez louise um so yeah these ratings are not the best um and then when you do find the good ones they're not necessarily not necessarily good because of the quality they're just saying like you know they're good because they've always gone there so or there'll be like um a high amount of stars but no message or no comments or anything hello hi um is this the
Hi, I was calling because I wanted to possibly get a pedicure tonight. What time? Uh, six o'clock. What time are you coming? Six o'clock. Yeah, sure. Okay, do you need my name or anything? Uh, no. I'm coming to pick up. All right, thank you. Two people? For two people? Just for one person. One person? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, pedicure at six. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not that, not that, no, no. <laughs> Did you have white? You do? Okay, yeah, white. All right, you guys, so I just got in from the nail salon. I'm here with Henri, and that nail salon deserves no stars. <laughs> no, not even to be harsh, but it definitely does not deserve the four stars that it had on Google. It definitely deserved the two stars that it had on Yelp. And I'm going to tell you guys why really fast so the video isn't too long. There were so many things that were just like off-putting. The first thing that I noticed when I came in um, and they told me to select my colors, the racks, the nail polish containers had polish, polish stains and drips um, on the bottles. The shelf itself was extremely dusty. Um, there wasn't a lot of order. Everything was just all over the place. Um, 
when you saw as I walked through the nail salon, there were um, nail clippings all over the place. There was a pair of disposable flip flops just sitting at one of the tables on the floor. No one was there. No one was close to it. It looked like the last person may have had them and just left them there. Um, when I finally sat down, I was waiting in the chair itself for about five minutes. Once she put the water on, she left me there for about 10 minutes by myself. And I was just like, this water is getting cold. Like, come on. <laughs> but I was always polite throughout the whole thing. Um, if you saw how she put the jet on, on the basin oh i will say kudos to them for having the liners the disposable liners that's really good um it's just an extra step to make sure um, each person is getting a clean basin you definitely should still you know make sure that your um, basin is clean um just in case there's a hole or anything and the water is like going through just anything it always should be clean still clean after every person but that liner definitely is just like the best yes yes to that um to help with the sanitation um but i will say they threw me off when they just took the jet from they took it from another basin and put it onto my basin um and i don't even know if i can call it a basin because it's more so like a um a tub or a foot bath um instead of like just a, a basin tub um so well, the foot bath um and that that's what threw me off because i'm like okay so did you just have that in someone else's and stuck it on and then took it off because it didn't come from the back it didn't come from a container that was like seemed like it was sanitized she legit said boop off one and put it onto mine so that kind of definitely made me nervous and that's something where you don't see the germs and the bacteria that's on it um like on the surface and also you don't see what's inside that jet so when the water's going through it all that like leftover residue from the last person is just shooting out into your water like nasty um so i wasn't a fan of that um, when she was doing my pedicure, she was using the tools and just throwing them into that plastic container. The plastic container was not labeled. Um, it was not separated from everything else. She actually put the container inside. No, she had the container on top of her little cart. And while she was working, she was just throwing a lot of the implements into that first drawer. And the first drawer was not empty. It did have cotton balls and toe separators and the foil for gel removal in there. So that's contamination just like on contact right there. Um, and she was just throwing it in there. At the end of the services, she does throw everything back into the plastic container and just put it in the bottom of her her station. So that's just like who knows if she cleans it every if she cleans it after every person. Who knows if she cleans it every night? That's just germs on top of germs on top of germs, and that's like very unhealthy, very unsanitary. And that itself was like, oh my god. She used the nipper on me. I let it go. Um, but as you can see, she was definitely going in on my nail plate and my cuticles. And she was just going in with those nippers. And it was like, girl, a little cuticle remover and a pusher works just fine. You don't got to be scraping my nail plate like that. Like, chill. She was going in. <laughs> and then she brought that freaking cheese grater out. I don't let those, y'all saw me. I was like, uh-uh, no, no. That is just the worst thing ever. They're literally like cutting layers of your skin off and just scraping it. It's like, no, take the extra time, use the pumice stone a little longer and keep it pushing. Speaking of the pumice stone, as you can see, the pumice stone, the, the um, drill that she bored out, for um like the heel of my my feet and the sides of my feet um even the nail file that she used all those were used by someone else you could definitely tell the nail file 
the classic nail file or the standard um, nail file was faded in color. It had a lot of white residue, which is typically the residue that comes from someone filing nails. Um, the pumice stone was really small and worn down. Um, and even that drill that she used for the heels of my feet, um, the little uh, drill itself, that little circle was super dirty. It was like a, it wasn't didn't look new or fresh. It had the white kind of residue on it. So they were scrubbing somebody else's feet and then they used it on mine. So I'm just like, ah. And then if you guys watch the video when she pulls out the cheese grater, I call it a cheese grater that um she was going to use to scrub my foot and I was like no she just threw it into the water like the water that my feet were sitting in she just threw it in there and the same thing with the pumice stone after she got done using it she just tossed it into my water um and even the if you saw the brush that she was using to um scrub my feet or I think she had it out on my foot rest she used that to scrub my feet that color it was so faded and like turning it wasn't even white any anymore it was just like yo you're just you just doing what you want to do you just going in you making up your own rules you're doing what you want you use the stuff on me you use everybody else it was just like crazy you guys i was like what the heck and then the finished result the end of the 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 journey was horrible my cuticles are flooded um the amount of layers are very inconsistent <laughs> horrible period even some of my toes you can see where it looks like it's about to start peeling she just did a horrible job I still tipped her because she still worked. She still did her job. It's not her fault that she was taught um, incorrectly. But based on the experience, I would give her a 1.5. And the 1 is more so for customer service. Um, that 0.5 was for that crappy job she did. Oh, my God. But... People, let me say this before I go. When you're doing these challenges and just in general, when you're going into these businesses, even if you get bad service and you're upset, still be polite. Because throughout the whole thing, I was polite. I wasn't yelling, angry, ratchet. Y'all know they think we ratchet. You got to come in here. Yes, my appointment. Listen, treat people how you want your mom treated. That's all I will say. And on that note, that nail salon definitely gets a 1.5 rating from me. Um, Google is lying. <laughs> I think the people that rated it so high, it's just really easy and convenient. Um, if you don't know the rules and the regulations, you definitely will say, oh, it's a cool salon. But when you know regulations, everything is just, it opens a new window. You're just like, no. So, no, y'all, <laughs> that is not it. Um, I would never go back there. I would not recommend it. Hell no. 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 Uh-uh. So, with that being said, have a wonderful night. I think I might do this again, but maybe go to, like, the highest rated one, and hopefully I get better service. Um... But yeah, it was a no-go for me. Have a wonderful night, you guys, and I will see you later on this weekend. Bye.